And here's four good words to take home. One is absorb. Develop the skill and the ability to absorb everything. Be like a sponge like you've been today. This has been a good, serious group. I appreciate that. You've worked as hard as we have up here on this platform. You've rolled up your sleeve and you've gone to work and you've taken notes, and I appreciate that. Absorb everything you can. Absorb the sights and the sounds and the color. Guess what you're going to want to do? Go back home and invest this experience into other people's lives, and you can't invest it if you haven't got it. So I'm asking you to appreciate the color. I'm asking you to appreciate the auditorium. I'm asking you to appreciate what's going on here. I'm asking you to appreciate each other. Soak this all up. Soak it all up. It's called absorb, absorb, absorb. Then when you get back home, you can give out, give out, give out. And you'll have an extraordinary effect on the people that you reach out and touch. Here's the next one. Develop the ability to respond. That's what got me almost six years ago. Mark and Larry made that call. I responded. It touched me. The vision they gave me, the story they gave me, the pictures they painted, and the numbers they gave me, what we could do together, the team we could build, dominate the industry, walk head and shoulders above anything else that's out there, have an extraordinary adventure that's only been given to a few, a chance to walk the summit, got me, touched. Now I'm asking you, however, not only to be touched with the summit numbers, the 400 million, I'm asking you to be touched with the smallest of people's challenges. Don't just be touched with the challenge. I'm asking you to be touched with the problem. Let people's problems get to you. Let people's problems touch your heart this year like never before. Be touched. Let life touch you. Don't let it kill you, but let it touch you. The problems that are out there, people struggling with their economy, struggling with their health, struggling with their future, I'm asking you to let that get around your heart. Let it do something to you. Don't go untouched. Don't go unmoved. When you walk out of here, open yourself up. Don't build up the walls. The same wall that keeps out disappointment, keeps out happiness and opportunity. Take the walls down. Let yourself be touched by what's going on out there. Let sad things make you sad, as well as happy things make you happy. Let your heart get touched, and you'll have good hands then to take this product to the marketplace. Here's number three. Develop the ability to reflect. Long after this session is over. I'm asking you to go back over it one more time. I'm asking you at the end of the day, go back over your day. I'm asking you at the end of the week, go back over your week. Make that week more valuable. At the end of the month, go back over your month. At the end of a conversation, go back over the conversation. How did it go and what did you do? Learn by reflecting. I call it run the tapes again of your own experiences. And you say, why do that? Here's why. To develop the extraordinary ability to gather up the past and invest it in the future. What a next year you could have if you pay more attention this year, soak it up, gather it up, and reflect at certain times what's going on and what's happening, and this year will take a more powerful place in your experience. And then when you get ready to deliver in 1993, people will not believe the words you've chosen. They will not believe the heart and soul that you've mixed with words. They won't believe the power you've got. A few simple things here under getting better. Then here's the last one. And that's to share. We've got this extraordinary opportunity now. Let us not keep it. Let us share it. Let us reach out with a long reach, a strong reach, an unprecedented reach. Let us reach out and touch people not just with our opportunity. Let's touch people with our lives. Let's touch people with our experiences. Let's touch people with our heart and soul. Let's don't just touch people with a marketing plan and a distributor kit. Let's touch people with their health, yes. With an opportunity, yes. But here's a commitment I'd like to have you make to me. Let's help people with their lives, not just their health. Let's help people with their lives, not just their income. Let it be said if they were around us one week, one month, or a lifetime that when they got around us, not only did we talk about money, not only did we talk about product, we talked about life, we talked about getting better, we talked about becoming all that you can become, we talked about picking up a challenge, we talked about not settling for less than you can possibly be. Let's do that. Let's develop those goals.